in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, we'll be learning to make this circular background effect in a very simple way. To do that, I'll first create a new composition. I'll name this circular background. I'll hit OK. So now I'll first create a background layer. To do that, I'll click on layer and from new, I'll click on solid. I'll call this background. This purple color is fine and I'll hit OK. So now I'll add another layer. I'll create another solid. I'll change the color to something like this. And I'll hit OK. So now on this green solid that is on the top, I'll go to Effect. Make sure that the solid is selected. And from the transition, add an effect called CC Radial Scale Wipe and also add another effect from perspective called Drop Shadow. So now both these effects are added and I'll set the completion to around 20. All right. And then I'll also change the opacity to 100 and I'll set the distance to 0 and I'll increase the softness to around 200. All right, now you can see that we have one circle created. And in order to animate this circle, I'll hold Alt on my keyboard, the Alt key on my keyboard, and click on this timer button here for completion. Now you can see that an extension editor opens up here, and I'll use an expression called wiggle, and uh, I'll open the brackets and set it to 0 0.5 comma 3. So if you start playing the video, you can see that the circle is having a, you know, a wiggle effect. And now I'll duplicate this layer that is on the top by holding control on my keyboard and tapping D on the keyboard. The control D would duplicate the solid or you can go to edit and simply hit duplicate, right? So now I'll change the completion to around 40 to the topmost layer and I'll duplicate one more time and I'll set the topmost layer to around 60 and I'll duplicate it one more time using Ctrl D on my keyboard and set that to 80. Now all you have to simply do is click on each one of the solid and from layer, from the solid settings, change the color. So if I start playing the video, you can see that we have this circular background animation and on the top of it, you can add any sort of logo reveal or text animation. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case, give us a thumbs up. And if you are looking for more tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. See you guys next time with another tutorial.